pretty, like, do you think I am, like, on a scale of, like, 1 to 10? It's Tuesdays for the boys. Are you a ass or a boob guy? I'd probably kill somebody. You call yourself a kid, don't you? Sometimes. I'm friends with Elon, so... <laughs> Hello, and welcome to another episode of Dating Strangers in Your 20s. Dating Strangers in Your 20s, starring Mattia and Jimmy. I meet strangers on Bumble and I bring them here to go on a date with them on camera. Tonight's victim is Anthony. So on today's episode, there's actually gonna be a little twist. I'm going to be fishing for compliments throughout the entire date. Just to see what he says in return, make sure that he really knows how to reassure me, you know? Also, right after this date, we went over to my podcast studio and we shot a podcast. So you can find that at Dating Strangers in Your 20s. If you wanna be a part of the decision-making process in this series, go to Mattia and Jimmy on Instagram. I'll have it linked below. So let's go meet my date. <laughs> they look good? Yeah. Hell yeah. Hi, Anthony. Thank you for coming on this date with me. I'm actually like really surprised you came. Like, like I'm just so lame and like weird. It's on both roles, right? So like, do you think I'm weird? I mean, when you're doing that kind of sort of thing. Stop doing that. I'm so yeah, so. <laughs> So how has your day been? It's good. How has your day been? Long, very long. So were you nervous, like, coming into this? A little bit. I didn't know what to expect, honestly. Well, I can assure you I'm not gonna kidnap you. Um, so I have some questions to ask you that my viewers wanna know about you. Okay. Do you believe that pineapple belongs on pizza? I think it's personal preference. Like, yeah, it's a fruit. Typically fruit doesn't go on pizza, but I like pineapples on my pizza. Do you believe, like, you choose, like everyone can choose their own thing. Mm -hmm. It's really beautiful, Anthony. It's really symbolic and like... <laughs> okay. So what's your social security number? I'm not allowed to say that precisely. Uh, yeah, that was, that was yeah. a stupid question. <laughs> Who told me to ask that? <laughs> Dylan. No, oh, that was literally you. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dylan, he... I don't even know where to start with him. He's, yeah, if anyone was gonna kidnap you, it would be him, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Worth it. Yeah, he's a little bit traumatizing. Um, so next question. If you were to obtain $1 million and you had to spend it immediately, what would you buy? I'd definitely buy a brand new car. Okay, what kind of car? I get a Chevy Camaro. Okay. Also, probably make sure my parents are settled. And then i would probably go on like a huge shoe spree, in all honesty. Just get like a bunch of different shoes. Do you want to buy anything for me? <laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs> Would you buy something for me? Or? I don't know, I guess we have to see where that goes, huh? Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> that was so stupid of me to like think that you would. <laughs> <laughs> Prepare yourself for a very motivational speech, okay? You might leave this place completely different. If someone was like, I'm gonna give you a million dollars, would you like accept it? You'd be like excited, right? Like how much how much are we talking? Like a straight a million dollars? A straight a million dollars. Well, I don't think that's physically possible. Like you think someone can like really hold like a million dollars in their hands? Like you, you wouldn't be sketched out by that or nothing? Okay, just forget about any of the logistics. Okay. Like here's a million dollars. Would you take it? I would. I mean yeah. just take the I would say uh, okay. <laughs> okay, I'd take the million dollars then. But would you still be as excited and take the money if they were to say you can have this million dollars, but you're not gonna wake up anymore. Uh, no. No. No, see, now that's that. I wouldn't. Yeah. Um, so, when you wake up every morning, act like you were just handed a million dollars. 10 million. Even. Oh, 10? 10, all right, all right, cool. Are you like feeling emotional right now? That just made my day. That was intense, sorry, I just... So, I prepared for us a nice dinner tonight. All right, go ahead and lift your plate. So, for you, I've prepared an Alani bar and a piece of gum, so... <laughs> okay. It's protein for your muscles. You're welcome. And for me, tacos. I love tacos. Sorry, there wasn't enough tacos for everybody. I have to eat three or I'll like lose so much weight. Oh, so annoying. Well, I'm just more excited for the gum in all honesty, but. I'm honestly like so surprised you came on this date with me. Like, I'm just like, I'm so ugly. Oh my God. <laughs> like, I'm just like so ugly, like, right? Mm -hmm. right? I mean, no, no, of course not. No, no, no I am, I am, I'm, I'm hideous. No, 
I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> stop. No, <that's... laughs> Seriously, stop me, Anthony. You are killing me right now. I just like, please, like, don't give me compliments. It's ridiculous. So, like, how pretty, like, do you think I am, like, on a scale of like one to ten? <laughs> like one to ten? Yeah. Mm, let's see. When you do that look, I'm, I'm probably gonna say a solid nine. I said a scale of one to ten, not one to nine. <laughs> You're you're funny. All right, while we eat dinner, I'm gonna ask you some more questions. All right, okay. So I can really eat this, right? Oh, worry, it's not poisoned or anything. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what is your favorite weekday and why? I'd probably say Tuesday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why Tuesdays? Because Tuesdays are for the boys. I always hang on with my boys on Tuesdays. I thought Saturdays were for the boys. Mm, both. It's whatever day you want to be, honestly. <laughs> You and your voice must be like a different kind. Cause normally they're like, Saturdays are for the bros, but you're like, Tuesdays. Mm -hmm. Tuesdays are for the bros. It's gonna be different, you know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So are you a ass or a boob guy? Mm. I'll be honest, I get really picky sometimes. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I'll just kind of be- all. Mm -hmm. But if it was like, fate of the world on the line, I'm probably going with the butt. I'd have to agree with that. Mm -hmm. I would have to agree with that. Yeah, yeah. Ugh, my butt's probably not even like big enough for you. It's like fine. That's a darn shame. <laughs> <laughs> Edit that out. <clears throat> That's that. I meant for that to happen. I because I wanted to show you like how risk taking I am. No, I'm a risk taker. God. Okay. <laughs> so what's your deepest, darkest secret? No, oh, that's a good question. I never get asked that. I don't know. There's a lot of embarrassing stuff, but if I had to choose one, I used to have like a bowl cut. It was horrible. Absolutely horrible. Like a legitimate, like they put a bowl on your head and like cut. Well, like I used to have like, not the best barber cut my hair. Mm -hmm. And so, mm -hmm. so, <laughs> so like, I just like, I just didn't give a fuck how I looked and my hair was like down to here and it was so bad. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Would you entrust me to cut your hair? Mm. Have you ever cut hair before? No. No, no, I'm not gonna happen. Okay, that's, that's rude, but <laughs> <laughs> it's totally fine. Maybe like when you're sleeping or something, I could like give you a little trim. Yeah, you know, mm. I think I'm shedding. Yeah, I could probably clone you with your hair. I'm Cute. friends with Elon, so. Yeah. Elon has enough money to clone. So like, uh, you probably like hate my hair. Like my hair's like so, like it's so frizzy all the time. <laughs> I wouldn't say frizzy. Really? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thanks. Wow. You don't have to say that. That's so nice. <laughs> so would you rather kill someone or be killed? Be Literally. killed or kill someone? Yeah. Okay. So like. That's very broad. So are we talking about like, I could die like anyway? So there's someone standing here with a gun mm -hmm. and he's like, I'm either gonna kill you or you're gonna kill this person. What do you want? Well, who's the person? That's a bigger question. They didn't say when they asked me the question. Well, I don't wanna sound like a complete psychopath, but mm -hmm. I'd probably kill somebody else. Sorry. You could take out Dylan. No. <laughs> so you would rather live with the guilt of murdering someone? Yeah, but at least I still get to live. But is it truly a life worth living after all that guilt? Mm -hmm. That gum's sugar-free also. Mm, yeah. Nice. So if you're keto or anything, the bar wasn't keto. Are you keto? No. Okay. Well, the bar was really <laughs> yeah, good. I just like got freaked out. I don't want to. I don't want to mess with the keto people. They scare me. It's keto. Okay. So next part of the night. Um, I'm going to make sure that my sister approves of you. So, Michaela, Anthony, this is my gay sister, Michaela. <laughs> I have a couple questions for you tonight, Anthony. You call yourself Anthony. Sometimes. Would you consider yourself a Shane, an Alice, a Beth, or a Jenny? Oh, what was the third one? A Shane, an Alice, a Beth, or Jenny? Is Beth a name? Yes. I'm gonna go with Beth. Describe your ideal watch to me. An ideal watch? I have this one. 
It's a Nixon, but it's nothing fancy. Hypothetical scenario. My sister strips a screw when doing a simple home repair. What do you do? You screw it out. Would you consider yourself an alpha or a beta? Without sounding like a douche, I'd probably say an alpha. Wow. Okay. <gasps> oh my god! Give my viewers three reasons why they should choose you for another date. Hmm. You probably wouldn't even want to go on another date with me, <laughs> right? Um, let's see. I'd probably say I keep things really interesting. Yeah, I'd probably not. I'm never really home, so that's a good thing. Yeah, so you don't have to worry about me like bothering you or nothing. There's a good one. Um, and I'd probably say my family more than anything else. My family's really cool. Okay, cool. So I'll date you for your family. There we go. Cool. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming on this date with me. Yeah, of course. <laughs> So that was my day with Anthony. Um, I enjoyed myself. He didn't really reassure me when I was talking about how I feel ugly and stuff, but whatever, we'll just brush that under the rug. So I'm bringing Anthony today on would I bring him home to my parents? Are we compatible? And would I go on a second date with him? First of all, I would definitely bring him home to my parents. He said he's a family guy, so that means he gets along with family, so it's perfect. Are we compatible? Yeah, I definitely say we're compatible. The only issue that I had was that he didn't really reassure me, like I said. And lastly, would I go on a second date with Anthony? I had a great time. I'd go on a second date. And on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to go ahead and rate that date a 9 out of 5. Why did I deduct a point? Because he didn't reassure me. So, yeah. Anyways, that's all for tonight. If you want to watch our date continue where we have an actual real conversation, you can go over to my Spotify and listen to it there, Dating Strangers in Your 20s. I will be posting the visual podcast on, Saturday, or on Sunday at 1 p.m. Central Time. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you want to be part of the decision making and see the behind the scenes. See you next time.